I've said in previous videos that electric emergency vehicles are an incredibly stupid idea. Given the length of time they need to charge, the ridiculously short range compared to regular diesel vehicles, and for all these supposed benefits, they're actually way more expensive. But that doesn't stop idiotic governments and councils spending a fortune on this pointless virtue signalling, which will make no difference to the climate, but will significantly impact the ability to respond to emergencies. So it is with ultra-woke Canada, which seems to take everything to the limit of idiocy. Having purchased a hugely expensive electric fire truck, it was only in service about a month before it broke and needed fixing. And they have no idea when it will be back in service. Excellent. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter X. Canada's first electric fire truck was in service less than a month before it needed repairs. Vancouver's brand new $1.8 million fire truck was in service for less than a month before it was sidelined for repairs. CTV News has learned the all-electric Rosenbauer RTX has a leaky water tank. Vancouver Fire Rescue Services spokesman Matthew Trudeau no relation, confirms the repair work involves the vehicle's water tank, but none of the electrical or battery systems, and the cost of the work is covered by the manufacturer, Rosenbauer. Trudeau says the vehicle was in service from December 4, 2023 to January 2, 2024, and has been out of service ever since. As brand new apparatus enter the VFRS fleet, it is routine and expected that mechanical issues come up, Trudeau said in an email. We quickly work with manufacturers to resolve them and improve their response capability. A water leak also signed line North America's first Rosenbauer RTX truck, which was bought by the Los Angeles Fire Department in May 2022. According to a statement from the Rosenbauer Group posted by LAFD, the issue was discovered during testing and water tank issues are not uncommon and may happen due to a variety of reasons. Vancouver's all-electric vehicle was unveiled December the 4th, with VFRS Chief Karen Fry referring to it as a reinvention of the fire truck. The department said the truck is smaller and more manoeuvrable than a traditional truck and can go 100 kilometers on a single charge. Great. At a cost of $1.8 million, it's $300,000 to $500,000 more than a new diesel engine, but Fry said there are huge environmental and health benefits to an electric truck, as diesel fumes are a known carcinogen. Trudeau did not say when the truck will return to service. We look forward to having the truck back in service as soon as possible, he says in the email. Well, I bet the poor, long-suffering Canadian taxpayers are just delighted.